After doing the laundry, we all know to clean out the dryer filter. But did you know that the washer also has a filter? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. So the purpose of this video is to show you guys what's the purpose of a washer filter and how to locate it and clean it. So the model that I have right now is the LG Ultra Large Capacity Front Loader Washer that I bought from Lowe's back in February 2018, so about three years old. And I've never cleaned it, guys, because I just recently found out via a TikTok video and Facebook share that supposedly washers have a filter that needs to be cleaned, preferably on a monthly basis, but no less than four times per year. So what's the purpose of a washer filter, it basically, it reduces the amount of lint deposits to the clothes during the washing cycle. So if you locate the filter, which on my case is on the, located on the bottom left, it could be on the side, but most likely on the bottom. And there you see this panel, which opens just like that. Pop it open, and that's the water filter. Okay, so I'm gonna use a bowl. It's most likely gonna be a lot of water that's accumulated throughout the years. And there's also some instructions right here. It's very basic. I'm gonna walk you guys through it. Don't worry. There's this little hose right here that you see. So you simply pull it out of this housing and then pull out this lever, the button. Oh, look how nasty it is. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. I think I need a bigger bowl, guys. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of water. Ooh. I'm gonna have to close it out. I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. It's probably preferable to wait until you're not using a washer, all right? Now that it's completely finished with the cycle, and I have a additional bowl right here. Let's see how much water we can drain from this one. Okay, it's not too much. Okay, I think that's the end of it. Close off the hose, pull it back in here. Now I'm gonna actually open the filter. What you wanna do is turn it uh, counterclockwise to loosen it and pull it out. It might take a couple of turns. There it is. Oh, actually I was expecting a lot worse than this. This is not bad at all. So this is what the washer filter looks like. Usually I expected a lot more lint and hair. <laughs> Maybe all that dirty water from the first drainage uh, consisted most of it. So what happens if the filter is clogged? What it does is it reduces the efficiency of the wa washer. Uh, where you would have more lint deposited to the washer and also, the water stinks due to the poor drainage. So what I'm gonna do is just wash this out real good. Okay, I'm gonna of course remove any lint, hair, mostly. Make sure there's nothing left in there. Give it a good quick rinse. And to show you guys what it looks like inside, this is what it looks like inside. <laughs> the filter back in here. Rotate it clockwise to lock it in place. Until it's tight. And pop it back in. And we're good to go. Until the next cycle. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. And don't forget to clean the washer filter monthly. Time to dump the stinky water.